be for the Peacemaker verse, but not yeah. another movie. Well, I, I don't know. I, no, no, no. There's not going to be a Shaz- no way. Is there going to be a Shazam three? The last one did terrible. But if you need Shazam for an ensemble piece, if you're making a Justice League, you need a Shazam. I don't see. I, I do. Well. I do think potentially. I wouldn't be against that show, but I think with that and the combination of James Gunn having Peacemaker, it's a bad look. I don't think so. I do. I do think how, so how because is, you're bringing me, you're bringing is, bad Peter Safran's baby and James Gunn's baby, and that's the only thing moving forward. How is keeping the best people for the job a bad that's, look? That's that's subjective. Best so are so job. are you? No, but good. that Peter Safran's baby, and then that's James Gunn's baby, and that's the only thing that survives. That's a bad look. I don't think so. So 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 you're okay with uh, just seeing Shazam, and we don't see Billy Batson because the actor playing Billy Batson is oh, yeah. getting older. Well, that's well, yeah, but that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. It's Flashpoint. It's Flashpoint, so things can change. Uh, you know, the timeline's not the same anymore because Flash altered the timeline. So you can cast a new young actor as Billy Batson. You can do that because the timeline's changed. That's very very true. I- you can't cast a younger actor. actor hey, you know, uh, I would same send, earth. send you a link, but I'm on my upstairs computer, which is a work computer, and I can't act, use it on Twitter. So, <laughs> if you're interested or whatever, but but yeah, I don't uh, know. If, I don't know if he caught this, but like the only the only three people that are transitioning into the new DCU is uh, Peacemaker, Amanda Waller, and Blue Beetle. But I, I want to, Joe. I I, I know, know you. I know you said the best people for the job. I, I don't like think Blue I Beetle. don't think that's I don't think that's fair. I think that would be paying playing favorites. I think uh, I no John C- playing favorites. I I think John Cena is probably one of the best bright spots of the DCU the last few years. So I understand that, but I would like to hear from Bruce and DL. Do you see? Do you see? We'll go to DL first. Do you, Do you see that? What I was saying that it it would look. I I think it would be a really bad look to only have the only thing surviving. Peter Safran was very involved with uh, Shazam and then Peacemaker. And then those t- two things and then everything else is gone. It, we're assuming also that Gal's not coming back because she's the only – we're doing that for Joe's to benefit. Everyone else isn't coming back but Gal. <laughs> uh, but what do you think, Dio? Honestly, I don't I don't see them continuing with Zachary Levi, Shazam. Well, I mean, I if th- they would, then would you think it was a bad look? I do. If they would, I mean – I'll be really questioning them, but I, yeah, I'm just, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm fully invested in Zachary Levi Shazam after this point, to be honest, because with the, with the kid actors as well, like you, I'm, I don't know, at least in my opinion, like the, the appeal of Shazam are the kids. It's not just him as a superhero. So there's already going to be complications if you don't have the kid actors there. And the kid actors are just getting older and older and yeah, older. But, so but it's not going to make a lot of sense. The kid actors are easier to replace, though. Shazam. You would keep Zachary Levi and replace that, the kid. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, easily. Because Shazam is a very difficult character to cast. It's easier to cast a Superman or a Batman than it is a Shazam. With a Shazam, you need someone who can embody that childlike quality and be an adult. That is a really hard role to cast. And Zachary Levi nailed it. Actually, he was here, absolute perfect casting. Um, I will say, I will say, uh, let me let me just go to you. Um, I will say this. You know, I love both Shazam movies. I'm a yeah. fan. Yeah. But for me, Zachary Levi... He went a little overboard with the acting. He overacted. Oh my them, gosh! Jerry the God too. He did. You know when Billy Batson is is acting more mature than Shazam, there's something wrong there. I don't know if it was the direction, the script, but he should have toned it down. Uh, but I agree. We should it. we should keep yeah. the actors that played Billy Batson and Mary Marvel. They were well, great. I, th- and- I think they're. I think they should be recast. I think yes. there's great talent. They could be even have a stronger role in the future. Um, who knows? There, I, I, I think there are opportunities are, are much better than Shazam, Shazam at, for um, the the young actor for Billy Batson, and then uh, that yeah that uh, the other the actress. I think there's I don't know what role it would go for them though. I don't know what they would fit for. Now, as far as let's go ahead, the no, maybe uh, wait. Maybe wait. Brave and the Bold. Uh, who's going to be the Batman's son? Damien Wayne. I don't know. Damien. No. Damien. I don't know. Um, the character has to be. Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. The comics they move to it more towards Damien looking more of Asian descent. So oh, they might okay. they might go. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. Yeah, he's, uh, he's part Asian, so. Yeah, it's all about who who they want to go for, and then also mm-hmm. the age as well. Um, yeah. Now, as far as Gal Gadot, I just personally think it's a bad idea if they bring her back. I think it's a bad idea. I don't have I don't have any personal issues with Gal Gadot. I thought she was a very good Wonder Woman. However, her her franchise has been tainted. It How has. So? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wonder Woman eighty four really broke people. First of all, really did. It really <laughs> affected how people looked at her. Me? Like fairly or unfairly, that really affected her. Also, on top of the fact that she's also connected to the, to Zack Snyder's movies, she's always going to be connected to that. So once again, it's going Don't back. Don't hold to, that against her. It, I, again, fairly or unfairly, <laughs> Hollywood's not fair. What happens. <laughs> Hollywood is not fair, Joe. You know? Yeah. But that she's been successful, though. That's the thing. Hollywood's interested in money. She's been successful. So, so was for another comparison. Well, you might. Yeah. Uh, Margot Robbie was actually more success. Was pretty successful as Harley Quinn until the last yeah. few projects. What are you talking about? She was still successful. Was she? Yeah. When wasn't she? Birds of Prey. Oh, well, Birds of Prey didn't do well at the box squad? office, but Suicide Squad was a big hit. I mean, uh, people liked it, but it wasn't like a huge hit for DC. It, Not was like the second, it was the second highest streamed movie on Max that year after Mortal Kombat. Well, day and day, yeah, but... Yeah. Okay. Also, also as Agreed, much disagree as, there. Yeah, and as much as I like Wonder Woman, uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman... She's and she'll not- be back too, Margot Robbie. She'll be back too. I think she. she <laughs> I mean, uh, it's possible uh, if she wants to, maybe. but she's kind of already said on the red carpet that she's ready for different interpretations. That's what she always won the character. Now, yeah, I'm, she I'm said reading. That in, it, she I'm said reading, that in relation to Lady Gaga, though. They asked no, her how I, she thought about Lady Gaga. No, no, she said in general, I'm happy yeah. for the character to move on, not just to Lady Gaga. She's right, like, I'm happy. I'm. Ha- I always. She said, I always intended. For this to be a character that's passed on just like Batman or Superman. So I mean, that doesn't mean she's not coming back, but that well, it was to me, already that, a character that was passed on to her. She was not the first Harley Quinn. No, I understand. We, but I, I, on I, a big I, screen though, yeah. I also think that could be a way of her saying the WBD. Um I just had the number one movie. If you want me, pay for me. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, because she's looking at a big payday. Yeah, Degrassi said right. She, after Barbie, dude, there's not a chance they're replacing. Really, her. really, Degrassi, you <laughs> think they're going to keep Margot Robbie? Oh, yeah. If James Gunn's pretty much already said it. He didn't officially I, said another he's, bad look. She said, That's not a bad said, look. He says he wants to keep her, but yeah. is she going to be able to keep her? Yeah, 